extremely extremely important for you if you want to excel things in system design to try things more practically a lot of people actually learn what is databases what is database replication how exactly horizontal scaling is done what is vertical scaling what is horizontal scaling but hello everyone i am sanket singh and welcome back to my channel so guys in this particular video i'm going to share you kind of like some of the most important things that i believe are extremely extremely important for you if you want to excel things in system design if you are somebody who is actually started working in some let's say big tech or let's say you are working in some really uh, i would say high paid startups and you are working on some really awesome engineering projects and let's say you want to actually start exploring system design high level design low level design then what are some of the most important things that you can actually do in order to like excel things at your end right in this particular video i will talk about what are the different approaches that you should definitely take if you want to take your learnings in system design at a very next level right we are going to talk about a lot of practical i would say approaches where actually you are not just going to theoretically discuss things or theoretically learn things but you are also going to actually get some experience by doing a bit of hands on right so without any further ado let's just start but before starting the video if you have not yet subscribed to the channel do consider subscribing to the channel we are going to put some really awesome content coming up ahead on this channel so let's just start so before moving forward i would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at algo camp so if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development then this is going to be something interesting for you so if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and what not this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and what not this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video so see the most important thing that you can actually do if you want to actually excel in system design is to try things more practically a lot of people actually learn what is databases what is database replication how exactly horizontal scaling is done what is vertical scaling what is horizontal scaling but if probably you will ask them that okay have you ever tried doing this in let's say some of your projects at some let's say in your full time job or maybe at your internship or in some of your personal projects then there is a highly likely chance that people will say no we didn't get a chance to do that i totally agree with the fact that if let's say you are working in an organization you might not get to uh, like do some extra effort or probably you might not get a chance to actually implement these things but if you want to actually learn system design i believe the best approach is to try things out when you learn about replication strategies when you learn about scaling strategies when you learn about how you can improve the availability of the system how you can improve the durability of the system instead of just learning that probably how can i do it if you will try to actually do it actually get your hands on actually get some coding effort done then these concepts are going to be there for you forever right for example let's say very simple thing if you want to see that how exactly you can make your uh, let's say s3 bucket let's say you have a system where you are actually uploading a few things on the s3 buckets now let's say you want to make sure that this system is highly available 
and you want to see what are the different different strategies you can actually make to do that so one thing is you theoretically learn that okay what are the things probably you can replicate your s3 bucket across multiple locations then let's say you can make the uploads go on in multi part form then let's say you can use a pre signed url and then do a multi part upload directly from the client instead of bringing things from client to server server to client or maybe you can upload things on the edge servers and then edge servers will replicate it to the remaining servers uh, s3 buckets and so on like there can be a lot of theoretical things that you can actually read about an interesting way would be to try try these out like just make a very bare bone very very simple application and see like with what simple apis s3 has provided you to achieve all of this if you practically do things things stay with you for a longer period of time i have seen a lot of people who just prepare system design for interviews and once they clear the interviews after two or three odd years they have to again prepare from the very scratch the problem is that you are not doing enough hands on there is a highly likely chance that let's say if your uh, company or your pro- team which you are actually working with is working on some really highly scalable products then you will get enough chances to actually implement these things yourself as well but if you're not getting it then a good recommendation would be to try things out just make an account on some of the cloud platforms or maybe just take any programming language that you think is the best for you and try to actually code things for example i'll just give you a very simple example Nowadays a lot of college students and even a lot of freshers know about things like sharding and partitioning. If you actually ask them that have you ever sharded a database or have you ever worked on a sharded database and like what are the things that you have learned while actually working with it not just like theoretically working working on it like whether you have actually implemented things on a sharded db what are what are some of the nuances of that you will realize a lot of people have never even done that they just know there is something called as sharding because they just learned that for their next system design interview and that's it if you ask them whether you have practically used it probably they have not this is one of the biggest bottleneck that i feel is going on with a lot of people that they are not actually doing things hands on right the best part about system design is that like a lot of people actually ask me what can be some impactful projects that we can make a good thing that you can do is you can learn about design of a particular system and try to actually code that whole system all together based on the design that you have learned it will be an awesome project in your portfolio and you will actually do hands on about all the different things that you have learned a lot of people know how to design a url shortener but very less people have actually tried to code a url shortener from the very scratch how about you do that and if you are getting enough opportunities at your work then it's absolutely great you are already doing a lot of things fine just make sure that you document your learnings a lot you try to blog about your learnings a lot if your organizations allow you to do that because that in that way you will be able to spread your knowledge uh, to the others as well i believe doing things hands on is one of the foremost thing that you should definitely definitely try by for actually improving your learning in system design. now one very interesting thing that i believe with system design is that there is nothing right nothing wrong so it becomes extremely important for you to discuss things like if you are i believe if you are in college you should not like bother immediately a lot about it but let's say if you are working then try to keep let's say one session in a week with your team and then just try to do some brainstorming on some problem which might be related to your domain which might be related to your project right a lot of time what you can do is you can have a streamlined process where people actually before they build the system they try to document it and have a design review meeting in this way you will discuss solutions once you discuss solution maybe you are not going to eventually code it but even if you discuss solution with somebody who is actually going to code it you actually understand a lot of aspects of it and you actually understand the corner cases and the difficulties that that person is actually facing in implementing because when you read a system that okay this is how you design a system it looks okay okay this is probably what has to be done but once you start actually coding it or somebody else starts coding it they actually eventually realize that okay what can be some of the corner cases that can come up so discussing is very important because there is nothing right nothing wrong there will be some trade offs you might have to uh, let's say let go of something to actually gain something so it's not right or wrong it's again very much dependent on what kind of product you have what kind of usage pattern around the users you have a lot of things depends on but if you discuss things if you document things if you have like regular design reviews it actually enhances your knowledge a lot right because maybe you will never ever get a chance to work on that particular system but if you have a very close team or a very close teammate who is working on that you can separately discuss things if you know what they are working with discussion is extremely important try to actually join a couple of discord communities where people are actually discussing a couple of engineering problems try to see if let's say there are some youtube tutorials or some articles where somebody has solved some interesting engineering problem or a similar engineering problem that you are trying to solve right instead of just making just regular projects because you have to make it try to see whether there is an engineering problem that is probably already solved but how they have solved it try to explore things around that and then again we can go forward with the first advice that try to code it right because the more you will discuss 
apart from just like reading article the more you will discuss the more opinions you will get i have realized myself that the amount of learning that i get in a system design interview is definitely far more than the amount of learning that i get in let's say reading a system design article because in an interview you actually discuss thing with the interviewer you get the aspect of how the other person is thinking what are the corner cases they want you to think about and so on this is something that is very important and for this one good way would be try giving more and more interviews i know it's a bit hard to get calls nowadays but if you get a call just because you don't want to shift uh, don't just miss the opportunity to give the interview i believe giving interviews keeps you uh, i would say in the loop of the whole system of how exactly interviews are given and if you are able to connect to somebody who is like extremely knowledgeable and like grills you at a very next scale on a system design interview it will be a lot of learning for you and maybe if you just crack the interview then maybe you will uh, like change your mood and even eventually switch as well but i believe giving interviews like probably in every 4 months 5 months you give one or two odd interviews it's generally good for your knowledge as well right so like it's my advice i know a lot of people might say that okay this might waste a time for the companies but i believe this is a fantastic approach to keep your learnings uh, like very regular and also judge your learning as well try to discuss things with somebody who is like a uh, senior engineer senior engineering director and understand what kind of knowledge aspect they have and apart from that discuss things with your own team as well like discuss team things with your team lead keep these kind of brainstorming sessions knowledge sharing sessions this is going to definitely help you a lot in understanding system design well one last tip that i believe is kind of like something that i would like you guys to uh, try as well right if you try to blog your learnings let's say if uh, there might be a chance that you are working on a very specific product and you faced a very interesting challenge that might be simple but that might be simple for you but that might be tough for somebody else try to blog about it the more you write and the more you spread about the knowledge that you actually get and uh, what the problem that you are solving how you approach that problem it actually gives you an extreme edge why because you are not just sharing your knowledge but when you try to document things when you try to blog things you actually try to add more details and you try to research more things around that particular kind of like problem right and again we learn system design with somebody else's article right so why not we also contribute about our learnings so that others can actually learn from that right and this is how actually companies maintain their engineering blogs and engineering article maybe you can take an initiative in your company and start the engineering blog of your company and try to actually document about the different different case studies different different corner cases that they are actually facing different interesting approaches and products that they are working with this is going to be a fantastic approach for not just enhancing your own learning but actually helping others as well to actually understand system design so i believe these were some of the things that i definitely try myself and i want you guys to as well try because system design is not something that you can just theoretically read it's something that you gain experience with right the more work you do the more discussions you do the more reading you do the better you get at it okay because eventually you cannot work on every type of system probably never you will never work on every type of a system but whatever you are working with and whatever type of knowledge you can get try to make it as practical as possible and try to make it as thorough and as deep as possible right all of these things that i have talked about are going to be extremely extremely helpful if you will try that out so let me know in the comment section if you are going to try some of these approaches and if yes what are your thoughts we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to talk about some of the more interesting things about system design and we'll talk about some more interesting things about tech and career till then take care guys bye bye i am sanket singh signing off